For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Madden Cheese, as always. Got what is probably the biggest update of Madden 24. It might be the biggest update of the entire year, as we have everything from gameplay fixes to new things in MUT, new things in franchise mode. I mean, there's so much here. We got new abilities, new X Factors. There's so much stuff here to go over. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it, because I don't want this video to be too long. But as always, if you guys want me to keep you up to date when it comes to these updates, because they do one every week for you know Madden player ratings, but they also do one just about every other week or every two, three weeks, maybe once a month when it comes to title updates, which is what I'm going to go over today. Woo! So if you guys want me to continue to do these, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And I'm going to start off with gameplay changes because there are a lot of gameplay changes, including some new X Factor abilities that I went over in a previous video. So if you guys missed that, this is something that a lot of uh, the community knew was coming. Uh, there was a video that I did from an article from Mutt Leaks uh, that did a entire breakdown of all the new abilities that were added to the game but I'm gonna give you guys a pretty quick overview of some of the the newer ones that were added now we're gonna start off with my own personal favorite team the Philadelphia Eagles because one of their players got a brand new ability and I think he's the only one that has it now in that original video that I was talking about I sensed that was gonna be the case and I said that he's the one player that I could think of that deserved to have this ability and that ability is called linchpin now this is a superstar ability that causes the center to bolster the entire higher offensive line allowing players to hold blocks for a longer period of time than they normally would which means that basically the entire offensive line is going to block better when it comes to run plays and pass plays which I'm super excited about being an Eagles fan who always uses the Eagles as I'm now going to have the best blocking in the entire game if I didn't already have that since the Eagles already had the best offensive line in the entire game now one of the abilities that they're really pushing is Derrick Henry's new ability called angry runs which is something that I think a couple different running backs could have uh, in Matt if you play Mutt, they're going to have a new running back every week, apparently. Like the player of the week uh, in Mutt will earn this ability. So that could be, um, you know, I can imagine like a Brandon Jacobs having it or a Nick Chubb having it, even though Nick Chubb's hurt. So obviously it doesn't make a lot of sense that he would get that this year. But there's a lot of running backs that could have this ability. But if you play regular modes, Derrick Henry's going to be the only one that has this ability. So it says when your player is entering the zone, this X Factor ability grants you an extremely high chance to win the first interaction with the defender. This will include fake out attempts, truck slash stiff arm attempts, and breaking a tackle. So basically, I want to use the, the Titans now just to see how over, overpowered this is. Because when it says extremely high chance, that means that this is probably going to be really broken. Uh, next up, we have Travis Kelsey, who has third down threat. Now, Travis Kelsey is already a cheat code. I mean, I think the last gameplay I put out, my offense, my opponent was just using him up and down the entire field. Well, now this superstar ability grants your player an improved chance of winning contested catches on third down while in single coverage, which means that if you're playing the Chiefs and it's third down, you better use this guy or double team this guy or something because your opponent is just going to go after him over and over and over. It says this will only activate is the pass within 25 yards of the line of scrimmage, so you can't just bomb it up deep to Travis Kelsey and Moss defenders um, if you know if it's in single coverage. I mean, maybe you can if I'm being honest because Travis Kelsey is that guy. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is going to just make an OP player who's already 9 on overall even more overpowered. Uh, next up, we have Micah Parsons. I hope I said that right because I know people like to hate on me in the comments. But he was equipped with a new uh, X Factor called Dual Threat. When in the zone, this X Factor grants ability. I mean, this guy's already broken, by the way. He's one of the fastest defensive players in the game. When in the zone, this X Factor ability grants players an extremely high chance to defeat pass blocks while rushing or force catch knockouts while in coverage. So basically, Mika Parsons is just going to be that much more OP. Pretty much all these guys are making something that's already OP even more OP, uh, which, you know, hey, I mean, you know, I'm sure it'll be fun. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fun to play with, and I'm sure it'll be fun to try to stop. Now, it says, pro tip, in addition to these abilities being available on base rosters, these new abilities will be available to equip your players with an ultimate team. So no matter what game mode you play, you will have that option. Now, there was a lot of gameplay changes when it comes to uh, actual gameplay, and I'm going to go over some of the offensive ones first because the defensive ones are really critical. But let's just get through a couple of these real quick. Uh, catching. It says, fix an issue causing players to warp to their feet after catching a diving catch. Not really that big of a deal. just looks stupid. Uh, it says they also fixed a rare issue that prevented running backs from catching uh, swing passes when leading up field. 
uh, which is something that I have noticed. Some of the you know weird um, out of reach animations that you get just seem way too uh, too often. Uh, they also says they re they tune to reduce the catch success chance for pass rushers when attempting to catch an errant throw out of sack pass. I haven't noticed that a lot. I've been noticing like in previous years you would get a lot of interceptions off of uh, those type of plays. I haven't really noticed that this year, but it's going to be even harder to do now. So if that was happening to you, it's not going to happen very much anymore because like I said, it was already kind of difficult. Uh, it says also tuning to reduce the amount of catch tackle knockouts specifically targeted at curl routes when leading away from the defender. So that's going to be easier to do. Now on offense, we have some changes specifically to passing. Uh, number one, it says they tuned the pitch lateral accuracy to make it more difficult to perform long distance laterals while moving in the opposite direction. So I know a lot of people uh, have found exploits where they could, you know, lateral a mile away. Um, and, you know, I'm glad they fixed that because that's been an issue for a couple of years. But most people aren't good enough to use that exploit anyway. So once again, these are really attacking high level players and trying to bring them back down to earth with some of the unrealistic stuff that they're doing. More specifically, the speed option uh, is something that I know a lot of people have been exploiting and they're, and they're mentioning that. It says users were able to create unrealistic long pitch plays using the speed option to draw in the defense, then pitch the ball to the player really far away. Now the pitch will be will not be as accurate when attempting to pitch such a far distance. It also says they fixed an issue preventing the skill-based passing power bar from updating correctly. So maybe if you were having issues with accuracy, maybe that will take care of that. I know a lot of people were having that problem. All right, moving on to the defense and special teams. This first one's pretty huge to me as it's basically going to attack people that try to run, you know, dollar defenses and dime packages all game, but still have a high success rate of stopping the run. This is aimed specifically at uh, basically weakening that. Now, what they say here is that they are going to tune to real-time AI adjustment logic so it will not take effect when the defense is using pass coverage slash sub-defense personnel, meaning that even if you're in a nickel package but you have a bunch of safeties and a linebacker, you're still not going to see the effect uh, of the the adaptive AI that if you guys aren't aware of really makes your run defense better if your opponent is running the same run plays over and over it'll make them try like figure it out faster so basically they're saying that you know if you're running you know dollar all game or you're doing that um, you know you have a bunch of safeties and linebackers you're no longer going to get that benefit basically what's going to happen is that since you're in a pass defense or a defense that's supposed to be good against the pass it's going to negate that ai that learning ai and it's now going to reflect that you're trying to stop the pass instead of the run meaning that you're not going to see any benefit from that so if you want to stop the run which is something i thought they were trying to do this year anyway you're going to have to come out a larger defense like the three four odd which i've been pushing all year as they've already patched the ability to stop the run in smaller pass heavy defenses with this tuning update now there's also uh they you know the 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 loop blitzes have have come back in a big way they said they were going to patch this this next part here says they're going to patch that it says tuning to qb contain logic so only edge rush defenders that are very close to the line of scrimmage will be able to get assigned to a qb contain so you can no longer put you know linebackers uh safeties in the qb contain lanes which is something they took away years ago and somehow found its way back well that's how it's going to be now now there's no more second level qb contain guys which is something they've done in the past so those you know those loop blitzes should be gone although we'll find out as we play the game there's another lesser known blitz exploit that was addressed where apparently you could slant the defensive line outside after using QB contain and you would get unrealistic edge heat so now it looks like they fixed that as well that one was less known than the loop blitz obviously but that's another attempt to try to slow down some of these uh, pass rush exploits and speaking of the 3-3 defense switching to the 3-3 cub defense it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to do that anymore if I'm reading this correctly which is something that's been in the game for a long time if you guys don't know a lot of people will put safeties in their linebacker spots in the 3-3 and then rotate over to the 3 3 cub which used to be called the 335 it looks like they took that away it says modify the defensive audibles logic so teams can only audible to formations with matching personnel it says dev note previously users were only able to audible to different defensive sets within a defensive formation but we were not looking at substitutions that were made prior to the audible users will no longer be able to audible to a set that puts their substituted safety on the defensive line if you guys don't know the 33 
Petrie Cobb technically has four defensive linemen in it. So that's what they're talking about here. It says users will have the ability to audible from nickel to dime if they have substituted a linebacker with a defensive back, which they could not do before. So that's very interesting. That's going to mess up a lot of people. A lot of pro play. They're really going after a lot of pro player stuff. Now, since we're in a defense, we're going to continue with some pass coverage changes. And one of the most requested things that I saw was cover four match was broken. Since the game came out, it's really been broken. And they gave specific plays that they really addressed or try to address when it comes to cover four match. One of them is actually one of my favorite plays that I already put out from the gun double Z close escape play. But there's so many plays here, it's better just to say that cover four uh, match is fixed because I was actually messing around with it a little bit once again before I record this video and cover four doesn't nearly get broken as easily as it does. So I'm gonna have to go through all my eBooks and update the cover four match plays because that looks like the only real coverage that was changed. So if you're a fan of cover four, which I have been in the past, and I, from the looks of it, I will probably go back to using it because it is very effective. It's probably, from what I was seeing, it looked like one of the more effective coverages now if you're running my some of my offenses I already have a couple of plays lab for them and I'll most likely have to put them out in uh, in the future in upcoming videos uh, but yeah cover four is back in a big way um, I mean it's really you know pretty much every play you could think of here I'm not gonna go over all of them but pretty much every play you could think of here is listed and it's to the point where you know this is just this it's just safer to say that cover four is back cover four back match is fixed so if that's one of your favorite defenses you can use it again safely uh, and it should not give up exclude you know one play touchdowns to random receivers like it has been since Madden 24 came out now they also address no huddle again which is something that they addressed in the last game it says they fixed an issue allowing users to snap the ball too quickly quickly on no huddle plays carrying forward the fix from last title update that was made uh, to competitive game style so basically what they're doing is going to give you more time which i thought i kind of felt like even though that they did give you more time with the no huddle last time it still didn't feel like enough so giving a little bit more time definitely will help they made some changes to blocking a lot of uh, defenses they named specific defenses here one of which is my own personal defense uh, it says they added pass blocking logic to address several common exploit blitzes out of the 4-3 even. They specifically mentioned the 6-1 Samuel Blitz, which is man zero. The 3-4 odd pinch buck zero, once again, man zero. The dollar 3-2 cover two linebacker blitz, which I was, you know, I don't understand that one. I mean, that that the, the DB fire is the one that everybody has issues with, so maybe that's what they're talking about. The nickel triple tamper two, uh, which is another one, and the nickel 3-3 cub Mike Blitz zero. So if you use any of those defenses, they might not work is good although to be honest with you i once again lab the pinch bug zero before i came into this video and it looked the exact same way to me if you use my setup maybe if you're using the setups that have the edges and in, in cubic contains because they mentioned cubic contains quite a bit in here maybe that doesn't work but my my setup doesn't do that so my setup still works so whatever issues they're talking about doesn't seem to have addressed the defense that i use at least not when i was uh, messing around with it before i came into this so there's a lot of small ones here but i'm really not um, you know, going to go over the small ones. I'm just really sticking to the big ones. There's another tune and improvement to lead block logic for pulling blockers on plays like halfback base or halfback quick base and quick toss. So if you're running plays where the guards are pulling a lot or you have a, you know, pulling guards or tackles, it looks like they're going to be more effective since this patch. So you might want to go back to trying that. It says fix an issue allowing edge defenders to immediately shed on TE or toss plays, which is really cool because I know a lot of times if you try to, um, you know, put, uh, if you try to block a, 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 a tight end to pick up a defensive end, he usually just goes right around it. So it looks like once again, they're helping out the, uh, the pass blocking there. It looks like they also tune down the receiver's abilities to block downfield. So a lot, a lot of times you can catch a drag and take it to the house because the, the receivers downfield do such a good job blocking. It looks like they tune that down. Next up, we're going to go over uh, some franchise franchise mode changes and I know the biggest issue was something to do with draft classes well the entire patch seems to be uh, geared towards draft class fixes including fixing an issue with download draft classes where all edited prospects would not appear correctly after being downloaded they fixed an issue where players in generated draft classes had body types that did not match their height and weight which is something that I heard of it says it fixed an issue where a player's height would change to zero after editing a player from a downloaded draft class. So a lot of things at the, you know, attacking the draft class issues. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comment section. I don't play a lot of franchise mode. You'll have to let me know in the comment section if the issues were all fixed or if they're still there. 
It says, and also fixed an issue where new players joining the league would be locked out of things like training camp. So that was something that I heard of in my comments as well. So it looks like they really try to address all the franchise issues, but let me know in the comment section if they did. Next up, we'll go over Ultimate Team, and it looks like for the most part, I mean, there was a lot of like slow, uh, what they call it, IU or UI, whatever, the, the interface, uh, which is something that a lot of people were complaining about. Um, it says, you know, links inside the head-to-head -head field pass should now function correctly. Isn't that amazing that the, the update really just makes it work uh, where it wasn't really working before? I guess there's a lot of small issues where some people are getting soft locked in a coin challenge or, um, you know, fix an issue on reward screens that dis displayed a reward for completing one star regardless of how many stars you completed. A lot of small stuff that can be frustrating, but I don't really see anything major. And I'm sure that anybody watching this, if you're, if you're into Mutt, you probably watch a Mutt channel that would break this stuff down a little bit more so this year um you know it, there's a lot of small fixes uh nothing too major not like the gameplay changes which i think what this what this update was really about including superstar mode so i'll leave a link in the description for people that want to read this full article because it's a lot of little stuff and nothing really major they add a lot of new uniform pieces to alternate uh, uniforms that are being used, like the Colts, the Eagles, uh, pretty much everybody. I don't see a lot being added to uh, the Lions. I know the Lions have a new, um, you know, so the Bengals, I think, have new stuff too. But I don't see any additions there. But the Colts, Vikings, Titans, Seahawks, Jets, Eagles, Bucks, and Broncos all have new helmets and socks, with the Broncos only having a new helmet. And then it also says added new cleats, uh, which I don't typically go over because I don't know who really looks at people's shoes. They fixed a couple of things as far as player likenesses. Uh, they updated Baker Mayfield's hair and beard, added new face uh, scans to Nolan Smith, Brock Purdy, Alex Highsmith, David Ajabu, Jordan Addison, Paris Johnson Jr., Cameron Curl, and John Mechie the third. So, uh, you know, some real good, ch some good changes to the authenticity of the game. But at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff is really smaller. They got some audio changes and stuff like that. Stuff that you probably wouldn't really notice unless you're really paying attention. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. As always, if you guys want me to continue this, I'm sure this is going to be the last big update like this for a while. Although there's going to be another update tomorrow, probably when it comes to player ratings. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access access to my vids and more, link in the description below.